Can I ask the candidates to come up, please, for the Peterborough constituency? Thank you. This is the declaration of the result of the poll for the Member of Parliament for Peterborough on Thursday the 4th of July 2024. I, Matthew Gladstone, being the Acting Returning Officer at the election of the Member of Parliament for Peterborough constituency, do hereby give notice that the number of votes recorded for each candidate at the said election is as follows. Bristow Paul, Local Conservatives, 13,300. <laughs> Jay Dempsey, Nicola Jane, the Green Party, 2,542. <laughs> Hussain Amjad, Workers' Party of Britain, 5,051. <laughs> Khan Zahid Ijaz, Independent, 211. Morris Susan Melancy, Reform UK, 5,379. Pakes Andrew Elliott, Labour and Cooperative Party, 13,418. Christian People's Alliance, 225. Sanford, James Nicholas, Liberal Democrat, 1,746. Yeah! There were 49 papers rejected where the voters were not entitled to, voted for more than one. There were four papers where the voter could be identified, and there were 90 papers where they were void for uncertainty, which was 143. The turnout was 57.27%, based on 42,021 papers issued. And I do hereby declare that Andrew Elliott Pace is duly elected as Member of Parliament for the Peterborough Constituency. Yeah! I just want to say a few words, and I'm sure there'll be other things to be said in the days to come. It is the privilege of my life to be given the opportunity to serve in the place I now call home. I love Peterborough, and I'm genuine about it. And I love not just the people, the architect of the building, the leisure. I love the potential. I love the opportunity. I love the talent and ability we have as a city to do the things we want to do to make life better for all of our residents in all communities and all parts of this city. So I really want to just say this. Thank you. I think this count has gone on nearly as long as the election campaign. And I worry when we leave this room we'll be starting the next election campaign after this one. So I'd really like to thank the returning officer, all of the tellers and everyone who's been counting tonight. You've been patient with us and I thank you kindly for your support. I'd like to thank other council staff who have worked during the day, the police and others who have not just done an amazing job tonight, but an amazing job during this whole campaign, keeping us safe and advised on how we do this properly in the right way. And I want to say thank you to the people of Peterborough for giving me this opportunity. It is clear from the results tonight that people want to turn the page on 14 years of Tory chaos. People are fed up, nothing works in this country. People are fed up with longer NHS waiting lists. People are fed up with crime taking longer. People are fed up with nothing happening in our city centre. People are fed up that Peterborough gets left behind too often and for too long. Tomorrow morning, with a Labour government, a Labour MP and a Labour council, we can begin to change that. But it's also clear from the results tonight 
the people in Peterborough want a different style of politics and a different kind of politics. The results and the figures I've got to stand before you as our next MP demonstrate that across everyone on this platform, and I thank all of the candidates, their aides and party workers, this city needs to heal and come together. This city needs to listen to each other. This city needs to be better in how it conducts its politics and how it conducts its public life. And I give you this commitment to serve this city faithfully and to serve all of our communities and to hear the message all of us, particularly the main parties, have been given in this election today. Let's go do it. Thank you. Well, I just want to start off by saying a massive congratulations to Andrew. He's got a fantastic job. To represent Peterborough has been the privilege of my life. Peterborough is a fantastic city. And I know Andrew, I hope, does a fantastic job. And I hope Andrew enjoys this job. It genuinely is a fantastic city and a fantastic place to represent. Woo! I do want to thank my activists, my supporters, and everyone who's worked so hard for me. I want to thank Peter, Sandy, Callum, Chantel, uh, Benj, Sophie, my wife Sarah, and all my activists who worked so incredibly hard for me. And I'm sorry that I didn't quite get us there. The result was very, very close. But I just want to say how sorry I am that we didn't quite get there and I didn't quite deliver for all of you. But look, it's clearly not been a wonderful night for the Conservatives, but this was an incredibly close result. It shows that the Peterborough Conservatives are still an effective winning and campaigning machine. I hope to remain a massive part of that. I hope that this is not the end of my future in Peterborough politics. This is my city. But on this stage, I think it's most appropriate for me to say, look, I've enjoyed being an accessible, approachable, visible MP, but now it's time for Andrew to take that mantle on. Thank you very much indeed. Woo!